welcome to class 7 mathematics classes we are in chapter 21 exercise 21a question number 4 in the given figure ab is equals to cd okay ab is equals to cd cd these two side are equal okay and ad this side ad and this cb are also equal in the given figure ab is equals to cd and ad is equals to cb it is given and the figure is given like this we have to prove that triangle abd okay triangle abd this is the triangle abd and triangle cdb are equal we have to prove this one and angle a and angle c also we have to show that they are equal okay so to show these two things to prove that these two things we have to show that these two triangles are congruent by any one of the congruency conditions okay so by looking at this figure this side and this side is equal this side and this side is equal and this db the side db is common to both the triangles okay so by looking at this figure what rule we can follow is side side and side by side 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 congruency condition these two triangles are congruent to each other we can show that okay so in triangle in triangle in triangle a b d and triangle c d b okay a b is equals to c d it's given okay and b d is equals to d b it's also given okay and d a the side d a is equals to c b okay these two sides are also given okay so bd is equals to db bd is equals to db means this bd and db is the same line okay and it is a common 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 side okay it's given in the figure and it is a common side therefore what we can write therefore triangle a b d is congruent to triangle c d b okay by what rule s side 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 rule okay so after showing that these two triangles are congruent now we can write we can write that triangle a b d is equals to triangle c d b okay and number this is number 1 and number 2 is angle a is equals to angle c okay why they are equal they are the corresponding angles so corresponding angles of congruent triangles we can write here why they are equal corresponding angles of congruent triangles okay so we have shown both the things number 1 triangle abd is equals to triangle cdb and angle a is equals to angle c after after showing this congruency okay now question number 5 question number 5 <clears throat> in the given figure angle spr is equals to angle qrp and angle rsp is equals to angle pqr so we have to prove that pq is equals to rs and ps is equals to qr so in this figure there are two triangles one is spr okay 
one is S P R this is the triangle and another is Q P R okay so we have to show that these two things okay these two line segments are equal so first of all if we show this triangle and this triangle congruent to each other then we can say these two sides and these two sides are also equal so by going through this figure this angle is equal to this angle okay and this angle is equal to this angle this double line means that this angle and this angle double line okay and single line is here this angle and this angle so this angle and this angle are corresponding to each other and they are equal this angle and this angle are also corresponding to each other and they are equal and this side this side is common to both the triangles okay that is rp is common to both the triangles so with the uh, congruency rule angle angle side angle 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 side we can say these two triangles are congruent so let us do it here in triangle s p r and triangle q r p okay it's given that angle s p r is equals to angle q r p okay it's given and angle r s p is equals to angle p q r this is also given the side p r p r is equals to r p okay same side r p this is the common common side that is why this is equal therefore with this three conditions what we can write triangle s p r is congruent to triangle q r p by angle angle side condition okay now this two we have to show that is p q is equals to r s why they are equal they are corresponding sides of congruent triangle okay that is why they are equal and another is p s is equals to q r similarly the same reason we can write here corresponding sides of congruent triangles okay so in this way question number five we have done next is question number six question number six in the given figure we have a o is equals to b o a o is equals to b o and c o is equals to d o prove that triangle a o c is congruent to triangle b o d and a c is equals to b d okay so this triangle we have to see carefully this triangle and this triangle okay here these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal and one more condition we require and that is i can see here this angle and this angle they are vertically opposite to each other okay and vertically opposite to each other means they are equal okay these two angles are also equal because they are vertically opposite to each other so by going through this figure we can see this side side angle angle side side so by side angle side condition we can show these two triangles are congruent okay so let us see in 
triangle AOC and triangle BOD. Okay. AO, the side AO is, is equals to OB, it is given. And angle AOC is equals to angle BOD. Why? They are vertically opposite, vertically opposite angles. Okay. And OC is equals to OD. This is also given. Okay. So side angle side. By this condition, these two triangles are congruent to each other. Triangle AOC is congruent to triangle BOD. Okay. By side angle side condition. So this is number one asked in the question and number two is AC is equals to BD. Why they are equal? Because corresponding sides okay, of congruent triangle. We know that uh, sides of corresponding sides of congruent triangle are always equal. Okay. That is why we can write this region corresponding sides of congruent triangle. Okay, triangles. Yes, you can write here. AC is equals to BD. So this is question number six. Next is question number seven. Question number seven. In the given figure, AB is perpendicular to BD. Okay, this symbol is read as perpendicular. At it means the line like this. One line is there. Suppose AB, okay, and another line is on this line and it is making 90 degree here, yeah. okay. Then this line, suppose this line name is uh, CD, okay, CD is perpendicular to AB. We read it as CD is perpendicular to AB. So, in this same manner, AB is perpendicular to BD. This AB is perpendicular to the line BD and similarly CD is perpendicular to BD it means what they are making 90 degree here okay the angle is here 90 degree because this line is perpendicular to this line line BD okay and similarly this line is perpendicular to this line so here the angle is 90 degree and it is given that AB the side AB is equals to the side CD and we have to prove that triangle ABD a B D this triangle and triangle C D B C D B this triangle are congruent to each other and the side A D and C B we have to show that these two sides are also equal okay so what we have to do is uh, in this triangle the side and in this triangle this side they are equal and in this triangle this angle and this angle is also equal and the side BD is common to both the triangles that means side angle side condition we can follow here okay to show that these two triangles are congruent so in triangle ABD and triangle CDB okay AB the side is equal to CD. AB is equals to CD which is given which is given here and angle ABD is equals to angle CDB. Okay. This is also this is also given and it is 90 degree given means given in the figure okay or in the quotient and the side BD is equals to DB why they are equal because they are common side of these two triangles common side so therefore we can write 
triangle A B D is congruent to triangle C D B by side angle side condition okay the first one we have shown that these two triangles are congruent by these three conditions okay and number two AD is equals to you can write and here and AD is equals to CB why they are equal now they are corresponding sides corresponding sides of congruent triangles so corresponding sides of congruent triangles will be equal So here we have done up to question number 7. Rest I will come with in another video class. Okay. Thank you very much.